Hello everyone, coming clean here. It's now been more than five years since the last mainline Skylanders game came out, but they are just as fun now to play in co-op as they were back then. But can you still play them online? Yes, you can. Actually, even if your friend doesn't own the game. In this video, we'll take a look at how. I hope you'll enjoy it. First, a quick shout out to the content creators who helped me make this video. Mike Inoid and the Bowtie Guy who played the games with me, and Ignite the Fire who helped me with the research. You find a link to all of their channels in the description. In this video, we'll talk about two ways to play Skylanders online the basic online function and the share play function on PS4 and PS5. We'll start with the basic online function. There are two games in the series that support online play Superchargers and Imaginators. In Superchargers you can play the story mode and the racing games, and in Magnators you can play the racing only. The superb content creator Mikeinoid was kind enough to play some Superchargers online with me and we had a great time. You can see some of the footage rolling in the background. To invite someone to your game, all you have to do is go to the pause menu, scroll left, select friends and just pick the friend you want to invite. You are playing on the host version of the game, but you do play with your own Skylanders and level them up as normal. Some of the random pickups seem to be individual for both players as well. When you get to a vehicle section, one of the players, the host by default, drives the vehicle and player 2 acts as the gunner. It may seem like a missed opportunity to not have both players flying or driving around together, but I personally understand the decision based on how the vehicle sections are laid out. There are a lot of set pieces and cinematic scripted sequences that just would not have been able to work well with two vehicles. Having one driver and one gunner gives both players an equally important task and it works rather well too. You also have the option of switching positions before each section and you can also pilot either player's physical vehicle. Overall we had a smooth experience without any network hiccups whatsoever and it honestly felt more or less like playing offline co-op. This is impressive since we live on different continents. It's also fortunate since Superchargers has a very fluid graphic style with a high frame rate. You can also seamlessly jump in and out of the hosting player's game. To race against other players, you just access the racing section from the pause or main menu and select online race. Just make sure you get permission from your parents or guardian first. Here you can invite your friends or join online matchmaking. I'm not sure how many active players are still around though. Me and Mike got hooked on playing story mode and did unfortunately not catch any footage of this. It's worth noting though that you can race up to 4 players at the same time. There's also a way to play Skylanders online on the PS4 or PS5 with one friend without him or her having to own a single figure, a portal or the game itself. This is through the share play function that you have access to if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber and the great Disney Infinity content creator, the Bowtie Guy, was kind enough to try the function out with me. Shareplay lets you invite a friend to play most of the games available on PS4 and PS5, and the best way to describe it is that they will appear as the virtual player 2. You are essentially streaming your game to the other player's console, and you both see the same thing on screen. All you have to do is press the share button on your controller and select Start Shareplay. Select Play with Visitor, click on their name, and they'll get an invite to join your game. The other player will join you as if you connected a second controller to the console, and they will play as one of the figures from your collection that you put on the portal, just as it works with offline co-op. Note that even if the game looks just as it usually does for you, the resolution and frame rate will vary for your friend depending on your and their connection. If your friend is new to the game, make sure to give them plenty of time to try out the control scheme by dashing around the map like a crazy person for example. Also, make sure not to give them an underleveled character at the same time as you have the difficulty set to expert. When we overcame this obstacle, everything played very smooth this time too. As the host, I didn't notice any performance issues whatsoever and Bowtie Guy had an acceptable experience as well. Skylander Superchargers is not the only game you can share play as the function is compatible with most games released for PS4 and PS5, but not all of them. Skylanders works quite well for this however since both players share the same screen. Playing online using split screen just feels a bit wrong. So which Skylanders game can you share play? Well, Superchargers work great, but unfortunately, Imaginators can't be share played. 
I do not own Swap Force or Trap Team for PS4, and my research ended up being inconclusive. If you watched this video and have any knowledge regarding if the Shareplay feature is available for either of those games, then please let me know in the comments. Looks like these clouds are already... Those are all the tips I wanted to share. As it turns out, Superchargers is the game you want to get if you want to share your gameplay experience with an online partner. Feel free to check out the playlist appearing in the top right corner for more Skylanders videos. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Coming Clean and I will see you next time. Take care.